Galambanya is a two-way trail. It's a track spanning over seven kilometers. It's all green circle rated, so it's very chill. I'd like to remind you to subscribe and you'll never miss a new upload. It also helps out the channel. Now let's get into riding. All right, you heard the intro to Galambanya. Oops, bit of a cutting thanks up there. This is, this is the top of the Galambanya here. See a bit more to go, so there'll be trail buildings in progress. This is the top of the moment. Top of onwards and onwards and upwards of Galambanya. Let's go. Yeah, that's one. Narrow tight sections here. Oh. Oh. Rocks there. Let's keep moving on. Strange rollers there. I think they're more speed bumps. I think they're speed bumps rather than rollers. Because if they were rollers that you could pump, then they wouldn't be that sharp and steep. They are speed bumps. I'm presuming it comes that section kind of far. Oh, I can't wait to sell this bike and get a new one. Oh, oh, wrong gear. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh, loose and chunky that corner. Oh, all right. Galambanya well. is very long. It's yeah, also rated a green circle. Go. Comment below if you think that it should be rated a blue square because it's longer, or a green circle because the technicality of the trail is relatively easy. Inside line. Oh, my days. Butterfly went right in the face. Gotta keep you. Ah. Gotta keep your wits about you on that section. These corners are a bit. We've got to have a bit more support in them. A bit flat and also a bit loose as well. Gotta rake them out. 
also it's a bit slower than I'm going along here because it's like it's a, it's a ridge with the cliff edge pretty much if you crash you're going right down the hill it is Oh, gee, but that section is fast. Oh, yeah, if you get this wrong. Oh, fuck, I know. Well, you. Well, you all saw what happened there. I had a crash, washed out because of how slippery and loose this terrain is and mosquitoes as well so that it can better keep moving but oh my goodness that is one sore thing this is why I think it should be rated a blue and not a oh, I'm sorry, a blue and not a green and because how narrow it is it needs more support and it needs to be raked out moving down the second half and I hope we don't encounter any more people well on the fast sections at least I don't really mind if I can't encounter people on this 
slow I burned or something, but this is just a, you know, caution for you. And you've got some jumps. Oh my day! Gotta keep the that you're going down there. They do it quite fast and loose. Ah! Back wheel sliding everywhere. Oh! Yeah, it comes out a bit fast. Right. Pump these. Oh, my days. You do need a better front tire. This one's a bit, you know. Not the best grippy tyre. This is more grippy now because it's more loamy. Oh my day. Whoa. Are a bit cut. Oh, no. It's alright. Hands are a bit clenched. Oh, it's coming down here. Gee, any more? That's two now. Sliding around. Whoa. Okay, cruise down. Don't really see any cars coming. Okay, take a right down here and into the second bit. Whew. Down again. Actually, actually moved. Hello. Oh my goodness, the bike is small. Medium frame, but still small for me. Oh my days. Stick up. Oh, I'm on a pine cone. There are some pedally sections, but nothing too bad on the way down. Careful, the people. I'm going to look on this one. Oh. 
Now it's coming. Now it's there. Oh, thing, thing is a really might still now. Oh my days. Go tree. Oh, freaking out. This is going to be. No, no, I thought I had it. It's going to be fewer climbing sections. Oh, I reckon on the way up. The Gaumbunya track, the main Gaumbunya, which is basically green, that's fair. And then onwards and upwards, on the way up should be a blue, and on the way down should be a blue. And then on the way down, the Gaumbunya should also be a blue. So he goes quite fast, still a bit narrow, and he goes a bit to take care out for. Very fast off the section. Ah. Oh, this is lots of this is all the days. Another one of the fewer climbing sections. Oh. Now they are they are short and punchy, but it's where a drop post would come in handy. Oh. I think it's after that saw. I think it's after that crash that I saw. I had no gloves on. Point to the road. something about tire pressures if you're going to run running tire pressures along here I recommend running relatively low pressures I'm running 24 in the front and that's on a somewhat grippy tire the grippy cross country tire so now I'm running an enduro tire on the rear Breaking one between in there. I recommend running less than tw somewhere between 24 and 20 psi in the front, and somewhere between 18 and 22 in the rear. Oh, chunky, chunky. Breaking bumps, 
ruts, thistles, jam packed full of stuff. Got to get you into that yourself. Bone rattling, bone shaking. Pump those rollers there. Stand on the bars. Even that's pretty smooth. Oh, sunset. Sail saving. Benefits of that. Nighttime ride. So it's an evening ride, not a nighttime ride. 7.13 in the evening. You won't be doing this in the, in the winter. What the summers are all about as well. What's summer? I haven't been a while talking about seasons now, it's not... I have a season that I'm now in concepts, topics to talk about, you know, which tyres, how much grip, mud, oh, thistles, I'm not wearing gloves, hands are a goner. Ah, narrow. Kind of cute with that me going slow down here. Whoa, ninja skills. Back that turn. Kind of skid it out, not really. Kind of roost it. Roost the turn. You know what I'm saying? Time to go. Quote from Mahal, I do. Quote from Dylan Forbes. No, he is. Get a few cranks. Long behind. On the side of the rope. Pump that. Careful, can't do that. Wow, sketchy. Dive it in. section of road. Coming up. Get it down all the way. How low can you get on the bike? Blinging her over. Grip those side knobs. Pump that. Oh my days. That section, that, that section just there was relatively smooth and fast and flowy. A grade for that. Probably should have goggles next time. Let's get kind of fast. Oh. Good stuff gets in your eye.
Oh, I knew we had it. This, is, this thing will be a jump there. Oh, it's all right. Nothing too bad. Nearly at the bottom of the 7.4 kilometer green circle going running the track. Running along the creek. No trackside noodles. Okay, snakes. Um, there should be a burn there. You know, you can, you can rail that corner. I just sat down to that corner, there's probably not advised, but I'm taking it pretty chill now. Yeah, it's pretty blind. Coming along through here. You don't have, you don't, don't have a bike to a bike crash. It was never fun. Well, no, no crash is fun. Going to the chunker. Oh. Up high, down low, too fast, and they're too slow. Where I'm going. Corners are pretty blind. If you don't come out here and snip this place off, and you're gonna have a hard time getting through. And I know that for sure because I've witnessed that first person. And first hand, sorry. Trying to go through Tara's track at the end, that little secret trail. No longer rideable because it's just covered in pistols, grass, and everything is. Oh, it's all horrible. Never been through there again. My socks. Two hours in the washing machine just to get a bunch of pistols off. Burrs and things. Oh, I had to burn them in 90 degree temperatures. Ah! Charge up the hill. I know you guys probably left, but probably not interested, but if you stayed this far in the video, smash that like button if you're enjoying it. It really helps out the channel. And that would be appreciated. And leave a comment down below what your favourite part of this track so far is. Mmm, we can go on a ride together perhaps. Comment down below. See what I can do. Now, if you are those two people who can do that into on the way down, just comment down below if you want to be cut out of the video, stay in the video, don't know if you're mine or not. Just ask and I'll see what I can do. Should be out of there. Sort something. We've got a Christmas tree going. <laughs> what big thistle there? Big thorn. Oh, the lace! Whoa, that was nuts. Huge pistol that was. Hopefully there's no cars. Thanks mate. There was no cars there. There's definitely no one there. <laughs> Just making sure 
But the good thing is that they, they can see me coming down because it's open next to the road so they can see. Oh, near the end of the trail. Whoa, thistle there. How many thistles can we spot? How many times can I say, say thistle? Comment down below. How many times have I said thistle with this video? And count these ones as well. Thistle, thistle, thistle. That's three times there. Include those two. Now, first, I'm going to say thistle with the whole time just to see if you guys can keep up. <laughs> Alright, now on the road. Oh, I'm going to skip the road, but I have, to go, I have to go down here. Part of the trail here. Oh, thistle there. Hump here. Oh, thistle there, I think. Might have not been in thistle. I don't know. Storm one that was, I think. Oh, that's a blind corner there. If anyone was there, my luck would have said, yeah. I'm crashing to them. <laughs> How much can my front brakes work? Well, these corners are blind now. I won't be able to see a thing. It's like nuts coming down through here. If this, was, if this was a normal descending trail, I wouldn't be too fast. But it's so blind, and it's also just a really annoying climbing trail as well, so it's a, well it's a fitness track if you look at that, if you look at it that way. I mean I'm not too tired as well but I mean coming up and coming down that would take a while. Oh. Oh yeah, still recording. Oh I thought, that, I thought my camera would have died by now. Glad it hasn't. Oh my days. Even I want to finish this track. It's taken a while. It's one bit of descending you get to do when you're coming up. Pretty warm at the moment. Pretty balmy at the moment. So you ever say about that? <laughs> Don't really know what it means. Oh, crikey! Narrow, loose. And that's not too loose. It's pretty hard packed. But hard packed. It means you can get pretty wishy washy. Get into that attack position. Can't really do that with 690 mil bars. 690 mil. That's a narrow bar. I mean, that giant that I used to ride in that one video in the entire YouTube channel, the whole bike side of it all had 600 mil bars. I don't know what that was, I have no idea what that was about. Now it's dark in here. And rabbit seems to be like this. Oh, we're nearly ending. I feel like I'm picking up pace and then I'm climbing. Oh, 
water. So we're going. Big video far. Also, me the longest video I've done on this channel, hands down. So the last bit of descending we get to do. That's blue, dark blue water. Probably pretty dark in here, right? See you guys watching this. Sorry about it. Going back. Hold it back. Don't know how to get the electricity to do it because there's cameras. There's the road there, but it's a fast station there. Oh, nearly there. Yeah, nearly there. You know, less than 50 meters to go. That's a little bit, less than 100 meters. And around here, a bit more dirt. Around the tank here. And I believe we're here. Yes, we are. Take that sign. Here it is. Go through. Here. And now over here. Oh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. It really helps out the stuff. And uh, subscribe, share, and be friends. And don't forget to commit everything, write everything, and shred everything. Bye.